In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Hello everybody, how are you doing? We're doing great for the mercy and grace of Almighty Allah. My name is N.A. Saqib. I'm your arts mentor, arts trainer. Additionally, we've been also teaching the students of spoken English for the last 20 years at the platform of Genius Institute Lahore. My dear friends, my today's lecture will be about reading subtests of the IELTS and particularly about its major, most common question types. So let's get started. As uh, it is already in your notice that there are 40 questions to be answered in IELTS reading subtest. And you are allowed only 60 minutes for doing all that stuff. You've got to understand the questions. You've got to locate the answers. You got to transfer all those answers into the answer sheets. So all these three things need to be done in an hour. And as you know that a lot of practice is needed for accomplishing this task in the given time. That's one hour. So you must be fully prepared before you book for an exam. Um, preparation before you book an exam is extremely compulsive for you guys. Make it a point. Um, and you know that for getting a decent band score and uh, most probably for getting the required band score, uh, you need to have an equal kind of practice of all four modules of the IELTS. So keep an eye on all the four subtests, listening, speaking, reading and writing for your better results. Um, practice, of course, is extremely important and practice makes perfect. No doubt about that. But you definitely need to know what you have to deal with before thinking about what you have to, how you have to deal with. So what you have to deal with and how you have to deal with, these are most important questions. Um, there are lots of question types which are uh, practiced normally in reading section of the IELTS, but there are 10, the most common and major question types which have been examined in the previous lots of papers over the years. So. Uh, I have estimated those are approximately 10 question types which are extremely important. Uh, as you know that there are three passages in academic reading and there are three sections in general training reading module. And each section or each passage actually usually has about three to four different types of questions to answer. So, in order to prepare well in your test, you must make sure that you practice all the question types. So, preparation of those question types can put you at ease, put you on ease rather, or put you at ease, whatever you say. So if you want to become comfortable while attempting this, the trickiest module that is known to be the most controversial as well, the reading module, and, the, and it is the hardest of all the four. So you need to have a lot of practice and you need to practice all the question types one by one. Because uh, you will be much more confident while uh, attempting this reading module and you will be having a lot of uh, peace of mind, satisfaction of heart and there will be no surprises on the test day. So uh, let me tell you, uh, uh, you know, all those question times which are extremely common, important and, you know, to be examined in the reading subtest. So the first one is uh, matching paragraph headings. Two, that is identifying the writer's views. That is very famous question types and notorious rather. 
True, for not given, and yes, no, not given. Number three, summary completion. Number four, short answer questions. Number five, multiple choice questions. Number six, sentence completion. Number seven, matching. Number eight, table completion. Number nine, flowchart completion. And number 10, labeling a diagram or a map. My dear friends, thank you very much indeed. This was a brief introduction actually of all the question types, the major and the most common question types of reading subtest of the IELTS. I hope you would have, uh, you know, uh, come to know about all these types of questions now. And now in the next further lectures, I'm going to reveal the tips and tricks uh, of all these question types. First of all, I'll give you the basic idea of the task. Then I'll talk about the skills required. And then the most important tips to crack those questions, which are very tricky as far as the IELTS reading is concerned. God bless you all, guys, girls. I'll see you very shortly with another uploaded video. Until then, bye-bye.